So this project that I've made is the fourth in a series of dazzle ships that have been commissioned to commemorate the centenary of World War One. I. I mean, I suppose at first I was somewhat daunted by the prospect of thinking about how to make uh, work that I do, which is usually on a scale that I handle myself, um, how to think about scaling that up to something as large as a 72 meter long ship and how that would work, but it's been an amazing opportunity to do that. Early on in the research that I was doing, I came across this great photograph from a class that Norman Wilkinson was teaching at the Royal Academy in London, and that kind of sparked a train of thought about what role women played, what role female students played. In a way, I guess that started me, that started to make connections for me with other things that I've been interested in previously, such as um, women's body in relation to semaphore, for example, and I started thinking about the connections between sort of women signalers and telegraphists and uh, drawing out some of those thoughts from previous works that I had made. Included within the artwork is uh, a section of Morse code which reads, every woman a signal tower, and that's a phrase that I've used in several works before now, but uh, it has a connection to sort of naval history and that comes through this early signaling system made by a commander in the Royal Navy called James Spratt. He called that the homograph code, it was a precursor to semaphore, and it was sort of subtitled every man a signal tower. And some years ago I, I took the second part of that and turned it into every woman a signal tower. And so it felt really apt to bring it into this project again. Uh, and it's something I feel can be reiterated. I really like it. I like the potential that it has, that it's, it's not a directive necessarily, but it's about how you as a figure, I mean, it, in his case, it was meant literally the body, but I feel like it has a wider significance in terms of you as a female figure can signal out in the world and you have the potential to do that. And for me, that's quite an important and a strong message. And so the ship itself, we've changed the name from MV Fingal to uh, Every Woman for the duration of the artwork. So I've been here with between five and seven scenic painters, and they work uh, <laughs> surprisingly in a very simple way, which is looking at drawings that have been gridded up and then just uh, using bits of charcoal on lawn sticks <laughs> and actually just drawing onto the ship and making, you know, being very precise in terms of measurement to get the initial stages of the drawing on. Uh, and then we've come in, uh, taken visual cues from how things look and then made adjustments to that. But it has been surprisingly simple. So straight lines have been made with masking tape and curves have been made with bits of rope and we have had to do a lot of standing back and looking at things to make sure they work. I think it's probably also surprising to know that the, the ship has been painted entirely with uh, four inch rollers. <laughs> and so it's really, it, that's really special about it, that it is really a hand crafted, very skillfully painted artwork. Printmaking is generally at a bit of a remove there's always something that is like a mediator. You know, you're applying one thing to a surface and then that's applied to something else. So, and that's partly what I really like about printmaking. I like this something that interferes in the process and produces other things. Um, but I feel like the, yeah, the translation from the 2D to the 3D and me being present for that has meant that there has been flexibility for me to work in that same way where you can be sort of, um, uh, conscious and alert to things that might have to change through the process of making. This has also been extremely collaborative, but it's a different way of working collaboratively because I've had to trust in the skill of other people. And normally in a collaboration that I do myself, I bring that with me. What I have thought about a lot more is the public nature of my art. That's something I've really enjoyed so far with this project. It's been really nice to be 
on board the ship and watching people passing by who, you know, might not necessarily be interested in art. It has a very different kind of presence. It's much more available to more people. It doesn't have the kind of frame of contemporary art, which is the gallery, which to a lot of people is kind of, an, can be an impediment to looking at things. So that, I will take that with me in future works and think about how that impacts upon things that I do. What you see when you look at the ship overall is this very bold, uh, graphic and gestural image. And that has come directly from a screen print that I made um, using my hands. <laughs> so these things that look like brush strokes have actually come from like a very physical engagement with ink um, that's then been translated into a screen print. And then we've turned that into something much bigger that sits in relation to the, the form of the ship.